I found this coffee mug decor from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed two of them. And what I liked about it is it has the stand on the back side so it can stand up. And when I saw it, I thought it would be the perfect coffee bar decor. But I didn't really like the pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the paper from the front. Now this did not come off easily, but I removed as much of the patterned paper as I could using a razor blade to lift it in the corners. And once I got as much of it off as I could, I took my handheld sander and I just sanded the remaining. Now again, I'm just doing the best that I can. You do not need to take every bit of it off. And you could see here how one came off a little easier than the other. Once I removed all the sanding dust, I'm then going to use my Wise Owl White Primer. This is great coverage. You would never even know that there was paper underneath here. And I covered both of the fronts of each of these with the Wise Owl White Primer. Once that was fully dry, I took my painter's tape and I'm going to tape off the top on one and the bottom on the other. And using some Wise Owl black paint, I painted the top of one mug black and then the bottom of one mug black. Now the primer is still important as this is what's going to cover what was left underneath. Now as we move through this project, you do want to make sure all of your steps are fully dry before you move to the next step. So once my Wise Owl black dried, I taped off the top and I took a little bit of the General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. Now this is not going to grab like it would on wood because I have the paint underneath. So I'm just playing with it and adding more as I need. And then I have this little wood heart that I'm going to gel stain as well. Then I took the other mug and I just gel stained the top of that. You can put a little bit of heat to it. It helps dry it a little quicker and then apply more to get a darker coverage. Now this next step is part of my recording cutout, but what I did is I took a piece of painter's tape, placed it in the center, and then I have these stickers. They are black. It does not matter the color of your sticker. And I spelt out rise and grind using the stickers. I'm going to tape off the top of this and then I'm going to take some Wise Owl Snow Owl, a foam dabber, and I'm going to go on top of the bottom part where we painted black and added our stickers. I felt like if I slid the dabber, you could see the stickers nicer. And once I had good coverage, I then took a razor blade to help me lift off each of those stickers. Now you can pick any saying of your choice. And this is just a nice, easy way if you do not have a stencil. And then I'm going to set that aside to fully dry. Next, I have a wood circle I'm going to paint using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. And I also have this heart cut out as well that I painted. And now I'm going to glue my pieces together. I put the one heart on top of the full stained heart using some hot glue. And then I glued that into the center of the circle. And then this is going to go on the second mug that we painted. Now we're just going to add a little bit of decorative pieces to these. I have a strand of wood beads that I'm going to place along the top and then a little bow with some greenery. And I thought these came out really cute. I had a lot of fun making them. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.